Hey peoples, DMX101 and welcome back. What can I say, the first three videos got uploaded earlier this week and the response has been fantastic. There's been nothing written in the comments boxes or hardly anything been written in the comments boxes. So I must be doing something right. Don't forget if there's something that you want me to cover that you don't think I will, stick it in that box down there and I'll do my best for you. What are we looking at today anyway? These little windows here and how to address the lights with them and we'll be taking a sneaky look at the DMX board the classic 16 channel board um, non software based so that you can see the effects of the channels on the lights and how to select the lights okay reason for covering this quickly in this video is because it is so so easy as you can see, the LED display on the back of the lights. To address these lights, they are all mainly the same. You'll find four buttons, menu, enter, up and down. So if you hit the menu button until it displays something like this, address, ADDR or AD, something along those lines, it'll tell you in your manual. Once you've hit it, you hit enter, you see the number appear, and you just climb through the menu till you get to the number you want to address it as, and hit enter again. Simple as that, you can see it's saved it. Okay, on the back of the board you will find usually three or four plugs MIDI your DMX in and there may be DMX out next to it and the power supply and usually a little switch like this that one is to reverse the live and the negative on the DMX for you so if you find that your lighting isn't responding the way that it should do, check the manual, find out which pins the live and negative are on the data, and you may find you just need to flick that switch. Okay then, as I've done before, we start with the basics. What we're interested in here is not all these buttons, but just the one that says either scanners or lights, and it'll be the first set of buttons on the right hand side left hand side for you sorry and the sliders across the middle now the buttons on the left hand side it usually says scanners or lights or something like basically these appertain to each fixture that you've addressed to the board this particular board has 16 channels, the 8 sliders you can see there and when you press the button it doubles up you can see the LED move to another 8 sliders making up the 16 channels that it will send out. It's a 512 channel board each button or each light has those 16 channels assigned to it. We flick it back now this is where it's slightly different to how you address the lights. If you're using a board like this, your first, first light will be addressed as channel 1, which will then appertain to this button. Your next light, to light number 2, needs to be 16 channels after this one. So your first one will be channel 1, your second fixture will be channel 17 it starts on. The reason being is your first fixture, even if your first fixture only uses three channels, unfortunately all 16 still appertain to this button. They've done it this way to try and make things simpler for people on a board. When you go up to number two you have to count the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight channels, double them up 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 so your next fixture starts on 
channel 17. So, to make this fixture work and to see what these sliders actually do, or channels, you select fixture number one, and the first slider we move you can see is the red channel. You can see that slider dimming it and brightening the channel or the red LEDs in that fixture. The next channel, number two, as you can see is dimming and brightening the green LEDs. And the third one, yep, you guessed it, channel 3 will dim and brighten the blue LEDs. Now what you may ask also is this display here you can see the numbers changing. Now these numbers are changing for a reason. Each slider has 255 steps Number 255 being the brightest, as you can see there, and zero being the dimmest. These are used so that when you're setting fixtures up such as uplighting and you want them all to be the same colour, when you mix them to give yourselves a different colour to red, blue or green, We set them up like so and you can see that there is 148 on the red slider, 86 on the green slider and 132 on the blue slider. If you set those numbers exactly the same down your fixtures, each one of the PAR cams that you have attached to there will be the same colours. If you're wanting to set your park hands as a static colour, so that they will not chase but they will all be exactly the same colour, you can also just address them all as channel 1 and they will all obey what you set on these three sliders. As you can see from the numbers that are on the board, this will, board will only handle 12 fixtures or 12 sets of fixtures. If you're using more than 12 park hands, say 24, you would address park hand number one in the room as it goes around a room as fixture number one, number two as number two, three as three, four as four, and so on. You would then come back so that park hand number 13 you would address as number one. Park hand number 14 you would address to channel 17, etc, etc, and that way your park hands will actually chase around the room still. Of course, if you're looking to set all of your park hands at the same colour but have them chase at a later date, you can set them all as one static colour at the same time by just turning on every light that you have attached to those buttons and they will all then obey the three sliders and you can set them all the colour you wish at the same time. Okay then peoples, I hope this was a quick easy introduction to the DMX board for you and programming lights on the LED display. Next time we're going to be taking a look at programming the board in depth. The board we're using is quite a generic board which is nice which means It'll be almost the same or if not the same for you to program your own boards. Until then, take care.